Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, July 12, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from 1 Peter chapter 5, reading verse 8, and it says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Amen. So this is a warning to us, and it also should serve as an encouragement to us. And so we thank God for his constant wisdom and care, looking out for us, warning us that we need to be careful, just like any good parent. Because we know that we are in a warfare, we are in a battle. And in a battle or in a war, we got to be sober. You can't be laying down on the job. You can't be turning your back to the enemy. You have to keep your eyes open. You have to be alert because if you are not alert and if you are not sober, then your enemy will destroy you. And who is our enemy in this case? Our enemy is the devil. And the Bible tells us that he has come down with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. That's revelation. And so we are at war and the battle is getting utter. We are close to victory. And of course, because we are close to victory, the enemy is going to turn up the heat so that he can try to see if he can get the victory instead. Even though he know that he will never be able to beat God, that's not going to let him stop trying. And so every opportunity that he gets to destroy one of God's soldiers, then he's going to make it count. Uh-huh. And so the devil is always standing ready. But the question is, are we standing ready? Are we ready for him? Are we ready for his attack? Or is it that we are junk or we are sleeping? Because if we are junk, if we are not sober, if we are not vigilant, then for sure he's going to destroy us. And so they have a saying that if you lay down with dogs, you will get fleas, right? So if you and I go and make bed with the devil, make bed with the enemy, then what do you think going to happen to us? We are going to catch what he has. And what does he have? Sin. So we like to play with fire. And there's another... There's another colloquial terms that say if you play with fire, you get burned. Now, we are in a war and yet still, knowing that we are in a war, some of us, we still behave like we are not in a war. How do we behave like we are not in a war? Let's give some example. How many of us still practice lies? Because we're talking about a spiritual warfare now. How many of us practice lies? How many of us still steal? How many of us do deceitful things that we know that we are not supposed to do? How many of us hate our brothers and our sisters? How many of us are presumptuous in our attitude and our defiance against God? And the list goes on. How many of us commit fornication, adultery, kill, whatever those things that we do that are not right? You know what is happening to us? The, the devil has wounded us in battle and is about to kill us. He's about to drive the fatal blow. And unless you get medical attention immediately, you will die in battle because he has come down with anger and vengeance against you and against me. So we can't afford to let our guard down. How many of us have on the armor? The armor that Ephesians spoke about. Do you have on the armor? Are you running around on the battlefield naked? Because if you don't have on the armor, you have made a foolish mistake and you will certainly die on the battlefield. Come on, friends. We are in a war. We are in battle. And do you think that God, our captain, is going to bring any one of us to the battlefield naked or who is not prepared to do what to do what what aid are we going to give to the troops we can't be a lookout because we are not sober we can't 
tell anybody that the enemy is coming. We can't give no warning because what? We ourselves are asleep. And what's the warning that we are supposed to be giving to the people? The warning that we are supposed to be giving, we must sound the gospel, sound the trumpet. Tell the people that they need to turn to God, that they need to serve the Lord. And we need to help those who are wounded too. And only those who are vigilant and sober can offer those kind of aid. Do you understand now? So we are called, yes, before we come to God, we were drunk, drunk in sin. We were blind to the things that are happening around us. We lived a carefree life. We just, just go with the tides. But now we have been grafted into the troops. We have a better view of the danger that exists. And so now we have to be more vigilant and we have to be more careful in our steps so that we don't go off the path amen and so this morning my encouragement to us let us be sober let us be vigilant so that our adversary the devil will not destroy us may we put our trust in god may we ask him to help us where we are weak and may we seek his strength and not our own because in him victory is assured but outside of him the same death is assured and i encourage you choose life choose victory amen